Pick Rewind, my selector. You know what I'm talking about. You know what it's all, all about. You know what I'm talking about, Bulldozer. Yeah, I'm not sure where you are anymore. But I do remember that you were somewhere. Dancing and prancing along and behind unicorns and and whatever you may not be there anymore there you are look this is the player i have to always bring up proof every time this player was the captain of the indonesia guild yeah this player here bulldozer is and was a player of an indonesian descent and i joined them many years ago no one needs to know but i know that flag, do you know what flag that is? This player has been off. This is with proof, look, 265. This player, yeah, K3 Winzo. I'm talking about Jenga. There's so many other players. I've got a whole list somewhere of their names. And I was with these players and we discussed it in an, in a, in an app outside of the game. We discussed it in an app outside of the Plunder Pirate game. Uh, screenshots of what I was showing to them and what I was showing to them was what I was showing to the Indonesian players was the way I was allowing the troops to go between the ships at that time you could not place the fort or the ship or the guild ship you know the guild ship the guild ship and the and the main ship when you put them together Troops cannot walk between them. So there was like a wedge. That's how we used to put our ground panels. The, the flags would have gone in a certain direction. So we would just wedge it over here so the flags were looking that way. So then no one, no one could come in from there, you see. It was, it was very difficult for players to get in. So we used to have like wedge type of uh, islands. And uh, you can you can check on a, you can check on the old uh, part of the, the Facebook and see how... People have said things about wedged islands and on the forums and whatever. And uh, basically, uh, there was issues with the update. And the update, for some reason, it would not synchronize completely well with what I was showing them. But I was gaining a win. So I was posting them a victory, but they were not seeing it. So would I have been considered as a cheat at that time? I want someone to answer that to me right now. Or whenever you can have your thinking quiffs on properly the right way around. Answer the unique rebel question. My question. This video is called Logical Questions. Yeah, that I put forward to Midoki. I will ask you the questions today, Midoki. That when I was showing the Indonesian players at a time my replays, and they were and it was shown as a like a hundred percent victory. But they were not seeing the correct replays at the time. So was I considered a cheater at the time? According to their understanding of what they were seeing. They were seeing me hacking the game. That's how they were seeing it. But the fact is, there's a deep bug rooted in the Indonesian country's servers. I can't prove, I don't know, that I'm not a technician and I'm not qualified to explain these kind of things to anybody. But all I know is there is... And it's kind of obvious to me now. I don't know who's doing it. I don't know what country, what waves they're trying to rule. I don't know who's behind it. I don't know if it's Mossad. I don't know if it's MI6, 7, Mushroom. M stands for Mushrooms. That's all I know. So whoever's behind it, whoever's causing it or doing it, I know that country is a population, uh, a majority. is whatever religion. I know that already, yeah don't have to give me schooling anymore because I'm bringing a schooling to you with my echoes go there I do so remember this is only a game but you're making it more you didn't need to remove that player that player put a complaint out yesterday a counter complaint to say my game is broken and what did you do you did no good with Oki that's why Lindsay you are part of whatever group you are full of those good game VIPs. I know what you're all about. We all know what you're all about. You're playing everyone. And it's not fair what you're doing. But I'm the one bringing the justice now. Because you have no right to ban my account. And even if you were to. 
you do what you got to do. I got to do what I do. But at the end of the day, I'm not out of line. You're out of line. You know that player put a complaint in yesterday. Many of us tried to reach out to you. You choose to ignore all our messages. You ignored Chaz. And because, because you're breathing right now, nice and easy, because you're breathing for free. You're seeing with your eyes for free. you got your hands and feet for free. Do you think it's part of evolution? But I'm bringing the revolution to your doorstep. I'm letting you know that you're wrong for what you've done. Rules are no rules. It's not about ruling the waves. It's about ruling the minds and hearts of the players, the loyal players, players behind the profile stats. You made a mistake. You know you made a mistake. And it's just unbelievable that this is a state of the game that we are being given undeservedly is well out of order you're out of order it doesn't matter what squid games vip group you're part of i've always known it i was there with you i was invited so thanks for the invite but you know what i left it you know why i left it because you just wasn't worthy and you were just running a funeral parlor you're trying to run this game into the dirt because you know this game deserves so much more. This game has always deserved so much more. And we will continue the good work with or without your blessings. This game will continue the good work. We will carry on with or without your approval. And you're out of order for the way you have treated players, real people behind the profile stats unfairly. If you were to look into your books and see what part of the world most complaints are made about, you're going to find there's a trend. It's happening to that country because those country, that country is a victim. That country has had players being removed because that country, there's an issue with in their server systems. And you've known it, but you chose to ignore it because you just didn't want to do the extra work. Because you feel that they're not worthy when you are. What makes you more worthy than them? You're not even a loyal player of this game. That's what I bring to this game. I've been here for a long time. I'm not the first player. But I know the oldest player in the game who's Shadowfly. I know people that have done so much for this game. that have passed away. I know that this game has reached where it has because of the loyal players, pirates, the real people on the profile stats. That have funded this game. So this game belongs to us. You are just cashing in on the ideas. This game belongs to the players. And there's nothing that you can say or do about it. And I've got the Taylor booty as well. That's the one. Working towards a crapper chest. Because that's all you're good at giving. Yeah, you're out of order. So I'm bringing you a storm in gameplay. Logical linguistics that I bring, that I sing that I enjoy doing most and that's making toast out of Mrs. Toast, Miss Toast, whatever you were called in the past, it's so good like I care about knighthood yeah all them players, people there yeah it's so good, carry on with your trend of like updates every day or every week and whatever all being fooled into like buying things you don't even know this game is the best game, you just didn't know it yeah it's so good, that's the one anyway I'm loving it and we're bringing this game up. That's the that's the place that it enjoys. Look, I said up. And look what happened. Stitched up. Can you believe that? That's what I'm saying. I'm so connected to this game. And I'm loving it. And that's the one. If you hear my voice. Echo, echo, echo. Be assured. I'd always be there for you. That more by excited than that mushroom doing a Tron Legacy on me. And all those that be worthy. Get up a dude. Yeah, it's so good. And I'm loving it. It's so good. And I'm loving it for all those that be worthy. The ones that have passed to the futures. Or the ones that we left behind. The ones that move forwards. We will we are becoming to you after a while. But the ones that we're planked by Midoki. We will never ever forget you, Kadaba Doofed. Yeah, I'm dedicating this video to all the players that have been unfairly and justly pushed out of the game without giving a fair reason. The game was always broken, no one ever knew it. 
I'm the only one to live and tell the tale. I don't even need anyone to even believe what I say because I know what I'm upon. But ultimately, it's down to you to be, always be objective. When I give you something, I want you to question it first. Wonder about it. Question me about it. Ask me. I'll give you information. I'll give you more. And believe me, I've got so much more coming. This is just the beginning. Midoki, you know everything that I know. You only have to look back in the pages of your devices and you'll realize that I know so much. So, so you want to push it? Then we're going to push it more. This channel's going to bring so much more. I didn't really want to bring the Titanic down, but under the day, it's not about rising and bringing the Titanic up. Sometimes a step back is two steps forwards. So do what you got to do. Bring back our players. Investigate what the situation is with your service in that part of the world. Realize your mistakes. And make it clear you made a mistake. And that's what it's all about. Could have a doofed. Fix up or get stitched up. That's the one. Patashed. <laughs> Patashed.